This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3 Animation and Games Project Design a Game Part 6. Here's what I have so far. My sprites are kind of stacked up on top of each other, but we're making a game. Choose your backgrounds. Now that you have the backgrounds you'll need, you'll write the code to choose the correct background. Oh, fancy. So I've only done one, so I'm going to need to add another. You've seen this done on le Lesson 19, Level 11. After you've written the code, test it by changing the starting value of your variable, making sure the correct background shows. Got it. So, my one background right now is this. I'm going to make a function like we have done previously for my background. And I'll actually have my backgrounds above display score, display, background, one. Oh, I won't need a one for the first. So you can I grab all this? Yes. Bah. Perfect. I'm going to actually go to show text because I'm going to copy and paste. I'm going to right click or you can use control C, command C if you're on a Mac, and then control V, paste. And then background two will be the name of this. Um, why don't I make it nighttime? So let's say dark blue and then the ground can be grassy so green maybe let me see what we got here I need to run this function so I need to call it up here I'll call it before display I'll call it right after the comment that says background so display background two and I'm gonna hit run ah and now I have a night background and if I change this Oh, there's no, whoops. And now I have what will be a desert background. Cool. I think I'm going to actually have this at 300. I'm going to move up the ground a bit so it can cover a little bit more space. Let's try that. Yeah, I like that a bit more. Awesome. Um... And that is the ground. What else does it need? Oh, write the code. Okay, so I'm going to have the background change. Let's say after a score of 20, you're on a new level. Now, let's say 10. So we need an if statement. I'm going to go to show blocks, and then I need my if statement. So display background. Let's see here. So I need to check a condition. I need a control. And I want an, ooh, I have a bunch of options, but I just want my if statement. So if, and then I want a, what am I going to check? I said if score is greater than 10. So I'm going to drop in this, and I'm going to check if my score variable is greater than 10. If so, what do I want to have happen? Well, I want to run, instead of display background, I want to run display background 2. Great. So this should all run the same right now, and it does. But if score is over 10, hopefully, but uh, we turn to a nighttime grassy background. Cool. All right, so now I have, I'm going to set that back to zero for now. I have two backgrounds, and they're working. Awesome. And I did that with my if statement. So it's automatically set to the standard, but then it checks right away if score is greater. And if it is, it switches the background. And this happened so fast, we don't even see the original background. I could do an else if I would like, and that makes sure that it doesn't write over the background. Yeah, let's do that. Great, so that's how I do the background. Onward.